Hey, it's me, Jet, and today's video is about YouTubers, specifically those that have inspired me or shaped me, and also many others. These are my personal thoughts and opinions, and yes, uh, this is me metaphorically sucking their Okay, to start things off, I mentioned this type of video in my 1k special, and since then, not only have people got in contact with me at to ask for this, but specifically, Moki asked me to create this, and Moki says that I'm probably gonna do it. So, the YouTubers that have inspired me the most growing up and developing my own moral compass and principles are PewDiePie or Felix Kjellberg, even though there's a meme where they're a different person and one of them died or something. I don't really get that. One, I need to catch up with that. Some ordinary gamers or Mudaha, aka Muda, Critical or good old Penguins or Moist Critical, Linus Tech Tips and or Linus Media Group, and lastly, the Yogscast. Now, I'm going to be talking about how these creators have impacted me, helped me grow as a person and really look at myself and see the values of a good person and help me grow out of the crappy person I was. No, there isn't some YouTube drama you missed. I just didn't like a lot of the traits and aspects of myself from a few years ago. And these days I'm much, much better and happy with the person I've become. But I really wouldn't be this person without these people, these YouTubers. So let's get right into it. PewDiePie is one of those creators that impacted me on such an internal level that I could probably definitely speak for hours and hours about it. His character and growth from the 2012 PewDiePie meme to who he is today is such a key point in my mind that who he is shaped the clay that I was made from. See, when I was looking at myself wondering how I could improve as a person, I was watching Felix's character. I was seeing Felix be a good person. Not only did I grow up watching him and feel okay to be weird or abnormal in the time period where, you know, that was very looked down upon. As I grew up, and as many of us quote-unquote nine-year-olds grew up, we watched him grow and become an amazing person as well. The videos he made about his philosophy and books he had read, sharing his moral opinions, and the complete contrast of being wealthy but spending modestly to the others on the platform at the time that just more or less flexed on their fans. You know, that hit me. This man that has morals, has principles, and he sticks to them. And to younger me, it helped me see a path forward to how I could stop being what I considered unlikable and stop being someone I would respect. See the morals and qualities I respect in others and apply them to myself. Learn why and how to feel that way. How do I feel about things? Simply the way PewDiePie acted put me on a path towards the person I am today and will continue to be. Thank you, Felix, you helped me be a better person. And now I could easily go further into depth about this, but I will say this last bit. PewDiePie's character is one that I respect on an incredible level. Some more new gamers or Muda Haro Muda. My God. Muda, Muda, Muda. You are a legend. Now, firstly, no, I don't use Linux. I don't have VirtualBox installed. I know, I've disappointed you. <laughs> However, you are one of those people that I can really relate to because, I mean, just by looking at you, I can tell you don't sleep well or a lot. And I personally sleep like crap because I suffer from chronic nightmares. So, I don't know. You do some great things and that makes me believe in myself that I can do the same if I put a lot of effort in, even though I sleep like crap as well. So, in saying that, something from him that really stood out to me is how he handled a certain controversy with a certain person. Let's just say it was a dark time, or a poisonous interaction. Anyway, the stark contrast between someone screaming their face off, swearing wildly, and his calm, relaxed, retorting points is just something I highly admire in a person. A lot of people would just try to be louder, but he just acted mature, talked about his points, and I saw that, and it got to me. I also appreciate the fact that when he reviewed a certain Reddit, some specifically more risque parts of his fan base went over to that Reddit to harass him bully. And his response was to instantly take down the video, upload another one, more or less telling those people off. The courage to stand up to your own fans who do the wrong thing is very respectable and something I look at with high respect. Muda, you're an amazing YouTuber and person. Keep being you. And I know he may not be someone who shaped me in the past, but he's someone who's shaping me right now. And that's important to me. Critical. Charlie, to me, is someone I didn't start watching at the start, but his story of originally not wanting his content's money to go to him, but to charity, and then realizing most charities are terrible, and then basically doing what the charities should be doing, but on his own, is something very much credible to his character. 
Critical proved to the platform that not only can you grow by making any type of content with no webcam, a monotone voice, but you know, some great humor along with it. What really hit me specifically was how he spoke about making content on his podcast from 2017, the episode that had PewDiePie on it, about how making what he enjoyed and not being what the people who watched his content wanted him to be, it spoke to me. Like, a lot. This made me realize, or at least solidified the fact that when it comes to what I make or who I am, I don't care what other people think. I only care what I personally think. Because I know when I've done the wrong thing, and I know how to improve upon myself these days. So thank you for instilling this belief into me personal. Linus Tech Tips. So Linus himself is an inspiration in general. If you've seen him from the very start, you know he started at NCIX Tech Tips and he was put into the forefront of making content for NCIX Tech Tips. And then he left that job to pursue Linus Tech Tips, his passion, which in that exact moment was creating videos. He then took a huge chance at hiring people, which at the time, for a channel which was not making anywhere near enough money to pay them if it didn't go anywhere, I mean, we all know it worked out for him, but back then I can't imagine the fear, the stress that came along with that. And I admire his bravery in making a choice like that, to take a chance on passion. Not only that, with how goofy and funny he is, I don't know. It's the same with a lot of people on this list. It just helped me at a young age to just act like me and be me instead of what other people wanted, I guess. Also, Linus, you're the reason I love PCs and building PCs. The Yogscast. This one is a hard one for me for sure. Growing up, I watched the Yogscast basically every single day when I was 12, in fact. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if my high school friends saw this, they'd probably have vague memories of me wanting to join their network growing up. And the reality of that is, when I was younger, I didn't feel like I had a lot of friends, even though, I mean, I did, it just didn't feel that way. So the Yogscast videos, Sips, Lewis, Simon, Duncan, and uh, Redacted, they all just made me feel better at a young age, and helped me through that growing up period, I guess. And so, in reality, they are basically the reasons I'm making videos right now. Sadly though, through controversy to do with Redacted and Tudacted, uh, that did hit them, and me, personally, and after what happened I just slowly stopped watching their stuff. Which to me is sad and I know, but if I did go back and watch some of their videos with Lewis and Simon, I would enjoy it just like I did back then. I just don't feel the same anymore with watching their stuff daily, not to mention even if I could watch their stuff daily, which I can't. The Oxcast, you helped me as a child to feel better about myself. I'm sorry things went the way they did, you guys will always be a point of nostalgia in my heart. Alright, I uh, god, it is very late, and I have a lot of emotions going around my system right now. Uh, but I'll end it off there. Uh, it's late and I need to edit the rest of this video. <laughs> but as usual, thank you for being awesome, check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I don't make this type of stuff uh, often, but if you would like more personal stuff, let me know. Subscribe and hit the bell if you like me and all good content. Leave in the comments your thoughts, I read all of them. Follow me on Twitter, like the video if you liked it, dislike the video if you disliked it. I don't mind either way, but make sure you have a good rest of your day.